So this is another fun video I did that I have because I'm a new YouTube content creator. I think that this is something that hasn't been done in the community. There's only one person on the list that might see this, but that doesn't have any bearing on the rankings. Because I gotta be honest about it, no fake takes. Because that'll be doing a disservice to the community. Also, final disclaimers, everyone who made this list really inspired me to start my own channel. And are great content creators that have learned many things about the game of basketball from. And I can't think of any videos that I didn't enjoy watching that they've made. Hopefully I get to their level one day and can have the opportunity to collab or work with one of them on one of these videos. And, you know, pick their brain a little bit, which would be pretty cool. But for the few who watch my videos and think I'm clout chasing with this one, all I gotta say is that you're absolutely right, but let your boy live. Now with that all out the way, on to the video. So before I get into the ranking, my ranking is going to be about 10 NBA YouTubers. And before I tell you about those 10 NBA YouTubers, I need to give credit to those who didn't make my list because I watched a lot more than 10 NBA content creators. And it was very hard to just, you know, get down to 10, but you know, still, you got to make the ranking, right? So the honorable mentions that come on my list are going to be Andy Hoops, DKM, SDC, Cosgrove, T. Reese, MJ, 2K All Day, Hoops Reference, Handles Up, Flight Mike, and Young Mustard. And also, I can't forget King of the Fourth Quarter, Get Like Coop, and Clay Allen. Some of these guys don't make YouTube videos anymore, I don't believe. Um, so they didn't all come on this list for that. That's some, you know, that's actually the reason why some of them missed the list is because they don't make content as often as they used to. Other ones, you know, it's just really hard for me to put them above some of these other guys I got on this list, but they're all really great content creators in their own right. I watch all their videos for the most part because I stay on YouTube watching NBA content. Um, that's just me. I really like, enjoy, you know, listening to people talk about the game. You know, I comment sometimes. My comments always get annoyed besides one person. One of them actually didn't ignore my content, but, He's actually on my list. And, um, you know, hey, I just want to, you know, kind of shout all of them out, give them their roses before getting onto the list. So, you know, go check them out if you haven't checked them out. Y'all enjoyed my content. Y'all really enjoyed theirs. Now, onto the list. At the 10th spot on my list is my man Switch Out. And my favorite video about Switch Out is this video called The Six Most Disrespected Players in NBA History. What he does is he take he has takes like he's a take channel. He has a lot of takes. He doesn't make like um, what ifs or anything like that. He does strictly takes basically. He gets takes on players and teams, and he also gives predictions. He does predictions as well, and I really like his content. His commentary is really you know cool, and he got that little swagger to him when he's talking. Really like that. That's pretty dope, honestly. Um, I used to get him confused with Young Mustard a whole lot, but I don't do that anymore as I watch more of their content. I don't know why I even did that in the beginning, you know, but I used to get them mixed up all the time. But Swish Out is a really good YouTuber. Check him out if you haven't. Uh, and that's basically what I got to say about Swish Out. Now, going on to the ninth person on my list, this is probably one of the people I've been watching for a while, a lot longer than I've been watching Swish Out, and that's Sporting Logically. Sporting Logically, aka Tucker. Yeah, Tucker's he's a good YouTuber, honestly. I watch all his videos. He's the most consistent person on this list, probably. And you know, that's saying a lot. You know, he always uploads two videos a day throughout the week. He doesn't really take a lot of breaks. He seems to be enjoying making the content. I know people like to roast him on his thumbnails and stuff, but hey, I don't have no problem with it. Um, he actually has a gaming channel too, like a Modern Warfare channel. I did not know that. He never talks about it. Maybe he doesn't upload, but he never talks about his Modern Warfare channel. Uh, I don't even know if that's actually what it is, but I checked it out. You know, I seen it and I was like, oh, I didn't know he played video games. Yeah, he has a Twitch, so I should have known he played video games, but I didn't realize what kind of games he was playing. So, you know, Tucker's a really good YouTuber. Uh, my favorite video by him is actually a video series, and it's his logical award series, similar to Shaq and the Fool, but it's his take on it. Uh, I think he has an award called the Russell Westbrook Award. I know he has one called the Anthony Bennett Award. Just go watch the videos. You will really like them. You'll be entertained. Some of his 
um, metaphors and you know the comparisons he make between these players is pretty cool when he gives them the awards. These are awards you don't want to win though, so they're backsided awards. And go check out those videos. I think y'all like them. A list at number eight is going to be a funky diabetic, and this is probably the most knowledgeable NBA YouTuber on this list because he goes into depth about the plays, players' tendencies and stuff when he's giving his takes on these players and what they can do. You know what I mean? He doesn't just, you know, talk about the player, you know, in raw, basic terms. He goes into depth, and that's really cool. He seems like he has a mind of a coach. I don't know if he's done coaching. He probably did do coaching or something because he talks like a coach would talk. He talks like my coach would talk to me when I used to play basketball. So that's why I really like his content. He's the most informative NBA YouTube content creator, in my opinion. And he's going to fall at number eight. My favorite video by a funky diabetic is the Miami Heat turned everything around in one offseason because I have the same exact take. I was thinking like, yeah, Miami's gonna be a really good team. I wish I had it. I wish I had a YouTube back then. Because I had a YouTube back then, I could have made that prediction and probably blown up. Missed my opportunity. Because I was saying Miami's gonna be a threat. I said it's gonna be Miami versus Clippers. See, I would have been wrong about the Clippers, but I would have been right about Miami. Everybody would have thought I'd have been crazy, but hey, I would have been right. So just my shameless plug right there. Now, moving on to the seventh person on my list is actually another person who was really high on Miami, I believe. I can't really remember it completely, but I'm pretty sure he was high on Miami around the time they made the Jimmy Butler move, and that's a legend of winning. Legend of winning was really hard to push this low because between seven and three, that whole area right there, he could have felt anywhere there. So I love the Legend of Winners content. Uh, my favorite video by him is how Dirk and Whiskey accomplished one of the most impressive feats in NBA history. And I mean, that was a really good video. The only other video that was like in competition for my favorite video was the Flight Reacts video where he gave the breakdown of Flight Reacts. Oh my God, I really got to check that one out too. So I had to put both of those there, but uh, how Dirk Nowitzki accomplished one of the most impressive feats in NBA history is an overlooked video because people didn't realize what Dirk Nowitzki had to go through. Him and Akeem probably have the most difficult roads to NBA Finals, in my opinion. The players they had to go through to get there, the teams they had to go through to get there, those were some tough roads, and I really like that. Um, so go check that video out. It was a really good video. Legend Winning takes some really good takes, and I love his breakdown analysis and how he gets into it. Great NBA content creator. On to number six. Number six. It feels really weird putting him this low too because he's my OG. He's the first NBA YouTube content creator I remember watching. And that's Mike Korzimba. Now my favorite video about Mike Korzimba is what if Magic and Bird played in the modern NBA. And that was a really long video. Really good video though. Like, it was incredible. It was one of the best videos I've ever watched, I think. And I really like it. So, I would say go check out that video. I mean, it's probably already been checked out by millions of people. But go check it out again. Really great video. He went into, like, their whole careers, essentially. Everything went pretty good in that video, in my opinion. So, go check that out. Um, really like Mike Presenter. Now, on to number five. Number five was also a really tough one. And the reason why it was tough is because he has two channels that I watch. I watch literally both his channels when he drops on them. He has a channel called Dom, and then he has a channel called Dom2K. And that's, you know, my fifth guy. So Dom2K is my fifth. And this guy right here, he's a storyteller. I mean, honestly, he tells some pretty good stories. I wish I had his storytelling ability. Um, just incredible storyteller. Honestly, there's actually an NBA YouTuber called NBA... Um, I don't remember what his name. I suck. I didn't watch this video, so I don't know why I can't think of his name, but it's like the NBA storyteller or something. I mean, they should collab one day, him and Dom 2K, because, I mean, both of them are just great storytellers. I love his series, talking about the 2010s. I love that series. That was a really cool series. And he also did one talk about the 2000s. He went year from year, you know, best MVPs. He gave all the rankings, the best memes. This guy is just... um you know incredible with his content and honestly always enjoy his content and you know his style really is cool but favorite video by him is actually that nba memes from the 2010s really good video really funny made me laugh because i you know i forgot many of those memes until he mentioned them so 
he would go back and jog memory and I really like that. I kind of definitely get some of my style from Dom and he made my list at number five. On to number four. Now, number four on my list is another great storyteller in my opinion, but he's more of a hot take guy, and that's B Souls. B Souls and his takes, man, if, you know, he's the, you know, he's good. And he, take, he makes some really good takes. He makes some outlandish ones too. And he's not scared to go against the grain. Like when everybody be talking about how underrated Damian Miller is, don't get me wrong, I was talking about how underrated Damian Miller was. And he just came out and he made this video saying, how can Damian Lillard be underrated if everybody is saying that he's underrated? He basically said that people that call Damian Lillard so underrated, that now he's kind of overrated. That you could say that player is so underrated, they become overrated. And he did that video on Damian Lillard. And I was thinking to myself, you know what? That's a good, that's a good take. Like, we can't really be calling some player underrated. If everybody thinks you underrated, you can't be underrated. And he really, he did his thing with that video. But that's not my favorite video by him. My, my favorite video by him was actually a series. And that series is called The 25 NBA Stars You Forgot About. And I really liked that video because he went into depth about players who were like supposed to be basically the next big thing or they were really great. And they just became forgotten about. People forgot how great they were supposed to be. Like he mentioned Marcus Smart because I don't know if anybody remembers this. But when Marcus Smart was coming out, he was being compared to Dwayne Wade. And to think about that comparison now, it's like, yeah, he's, he was never Dwayne Wade. Oh, what are y'all talking about? But, um, yeah, I mean, it was a really good video. He also talked about DSJ because I thought DSJ was going to be a star. I mean, he's getting some comparisons to Baron Davis. I know Baron Davis is his biggest star. But, yeah, just go check that video out. He has two of them. He has a part one and a part two. Both of them are really good. Now we're getting into the top three. And in my top three NBA YouTubers at the third spot, we're going to go with Mojo99. Now, I alluded to this in the beginning that I actually have one NBA content creator who was kind enough when I was out there clout chasing, because that's what I do. I'm a clout chaser, I guess. Well, not guess. I, I know I am. I go into their comment section. And I, After watching their video, I go into their comment section. I post my video link in their content section. Hopefully somebody will scroll by and click on it and just check me out because hey, that's how you get your name out there, I feel. But he checked my content out. He actually checked out one of my videos where I was talking about NBA players were bleach characters. And he checked that out and he subbed to my channel, which is a cool shout out to you for that. But you're still number three on my list. Great content creator. And when I say Mojo99 is one of the funniest guys, honestly, he's the second funniest guy out of all of them in my opinion. Like, he is extremely funny. And me, I love humor. Like, the way he be making these jokes and cracking these jokes, he, the commentary he brings is legitimately funny commentary. And, you know, he does really good. He mostly gets into the NBA draft stuff, which is really cool. He kind of helped me learn about a lot of the young guys. I would love for him to do a video and give me his idea of what he thinks of Jalen Johnson. Because Jalen Johnson is the guy I want my Bulls to drive. And he does those types of videos where he talks about young upcoming prospects. Similar to T. Reese as well. T. Reese also does those videos. But yeah, check out Mojo99. Great NBA content creator. Definitely he's been trying to get more consistent. He's basically the up and coming guy. He's basically, like I said, the Giannis of the NBA content community. Because that's what he is. He's coming up. Everybody sees the potential. He's probably going to be great in a couple years. I think he's great already. Favorite video by him is Meet the NBA's Worst Nightmare. Go check it out. It's a really good video. And that's about my, and actually that video is about my guy. Because my guy and the team he got drafted to, which is, I'm a Michael Porter Jr. fan. I wanted my Bulls to draft Michael Porter Jr. And when he was slipping in the draft, I was scared that Philly was going to get him. Because just imagine that. Imagine a Philadelphia basketball team with Ben Simmons, MPJ, and Joel Embiid. Man, the NBA would have been in some trouble with that one. I don't know why they passed up on him. Or just imagine if he would have got drafted to Clippers and then traded for Paul George. Then OKC would have had a guy who was KD Light, maybe. Maybe the best version of KD Light. So yeah, uh, but I'm off topic there. Go check out Mojo99. Really good content creator. Now, on to the number two spot. I think a lot of people would be surprised if they actually watched my videos, who was number two in my opinion. But the number two spot goes to 
Rusty Buckets. And I cannot sit here and lie to anybody. When Rusty's videos pop up in my recommendation, I stop all other videos to watch this man's video besides one other guy. And that's the guy who's gonna be number one. But when Rusty pops up in recommendation, I always check him out. Because one thing that you're gonna get with Rusty is entertainment. He is the funniest, without a doubt, the funniest NBA content creator on the platform. The way he jokes and stuff, bro, honestly, you would be thinking that this guy was a gamer. Like, if you ever watch those channels like Daifo and Birdman, this guy got that kind of commentary for an NBA content creator. When he does his opening skits and stuff, oh man, he is funny. Like, he did this one video recently, and he opened up when he was talking about his day, and he was like, you know... <laughs> I'm dying and the way he's looking in the videos like you know I'm dying because I have the biggest it, oh my god he was he cracked me up I started dying laughing bro is funny as hell um go check out his videos man just go check him out he's funny if nothing else you're gonna be extremely entertained just by listening to him talk he is funny he needs his own show honestly I know they just gave my boy King in the fourth quarter show but if they ever want to do a debate channel with King of the fourth quarter and you want two funny guys, kind of like the Skip and Shannon? Give me Rusty and King of the Fourth Quarter. Because these two dudes are freaking hilarious. Um, man, I, I love me some Rusty Buckets. Funny dude. Favorite video by Rusty is reacting to the worst top 100 list ever. Go check that video out. Because, man, the way he was talking on that video was funny. He really roasted them pretty well. So, I like that. Now, on to the number one spot, and this is basically the Michael Jordan of NBA content creators. And it's kind of crazy I say he's the Michael Jordan because his favorite player is LeBron James. So I almost knocked him back because of that, because you know me, I'm a LeBron here. But now I couldn't do it. And the reason I couldn't do it is because his content is that good. And that's Jimmy Highroller. Jimmy Highroller to me is the best NBA content creator because all his videos are works of art. Like literally, the grabs, he, he loves doing grabs and stuff. He shows all the visual. He takes his time making this content. You can tell he put a lot of work into every video he does. He doesn't drop them as often as some of these other ones drop, but the content is always good. You're never gonna get a bad Jimmy video. And that's why I like most about him. A lot of other NBA YouTubers are starting to try to do more quality content like that. But I think all the quality content on YouTube is great. I don't think none of them do as good as Jimmy. His takes, his tones, the way he talks when he's, you know, delivering everything, his delivery, it's phenomenal, man. And he just does a really good job. He does a lot of work into it. And we always appreciate that in the community, I believe. So I'm going to give my hats off to Jimmy as being the best in the community. And my favorite video by him is the NBA has been hiding LeBron's biggest secret for years. Go check out that video because for an NBA fan who loves LeBron James, for him to say that about LeBron or make that speculation that LeBron's been doing this and then provide some evidence of the possibility, like of it being a possibility, obviously there's no true evidence, but the possibilities and the way he brought into consideration some of the possibilities and why it's been this case like mentioning how he left cleveland went to miami then came back and he was way better yeah good video man he, he did his thing with that one so that's my list those are my top 10 nba content creators again i just want to thank all of them for making content constantly for me to enjoy and watch honestly it's made me start doing my own content and if any of them see this video and they didn't like their ranking i'm sorry man i like all y'all but i had to rank because obviously it gets clicks so and y'all probably seen it because it had your name in it just saying but this is a true representation of what i believe the nba content community is i really like all y'all all y'all better than me for now but i'm coming for y'all you know like j cole be coming for all the other rappers that's me just saying now nah, let me stop playing but um thank you for watching my video if you like the video press like subscribe to my channel if y'all get this out to them you know tell them to come check me out because i need all the clout i can get especially if i'm gonna make a video like this and um, i thank y'all for your time enjoy the rest of your day peace